Greetings, it's Alex McClellan for the Shelburne Freelancer. I'm here at Center Dufferin District High School and the students here are staging a protest against all of the cuts to education. This is their future and they want Doug Ford to know what they think about the cuts. So what's your message to the Ford government regarding your education and your future? I'm a grade 12 student. I have siblings who are all in elementary school. The idea that the autistic program will lose their funding, the idea that the arts program is going to lose their funding, it's just unacceptable. I feel that it's honestly despicable to treat students and teachers this way. And do you think it affects your future? It definitely affects my future. It affects my future, it affects all of their futures, it affects my siblings' futures. Oh well, thank you very much. Let's hope he gets the message. I should stand up for what we believe in. Right. And do you think this affects your future? Yeah. That's my education. Thank you very much. Okay. What message would you like to give the Ford government Make in sure regards to the future? Make sure you sign the petitions on the bench. People shouldn't really drop out of school because you need a good education to get a job. Thank you very much. Hey, y'all. What message do you have for the Ford government? Um, the message I have for the Ford government is don't make cuts to our education. Um, not everyone learns the same way, so mandatory online classes will destroy most of the school population. As well as teachers are already struggling to take care of classes, making class sizes bigger will make it absolutely impossible to learn anything. And how do you see this affecting your future? It'll affect, it won't necessarily affect my future because I'm leaving. But it'll affect future generations because they'll have a harder time in class, they'll have a harder time passing classes, and they're most likely to drop out or fail. Are and you really aware of the OSAP that. changes and yeah. health cuts for when you get to college? That's going to be ridiculous. I'm already struggling to pay for college myself because I'm in a situation where I have to pay for myself now. Like many, many people. Like many, many people. So now I'm going to struggle for to make it through college because they're making cuts where cuts don't need to be made and they're hurting the people that are already hurting. Would you, what do you think about the cuts? I don't like them at all. Teachers influence students every single day and sports are a way to express your feelings. It keeps kids active and cutting the arts is a really bad idea because that's how people express themselves. There's so much art history and by cutting the arts programs you're going to get rid of our history that we're going to make. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> Maybe by rule. No. no, that's stupid. What about increased class sizes? No. What about losing some of our best teachers in the school board? Like who are going to college next year, 
the OSAP cuts are making it much harder to even afford college. For someone like me, I am now struggling to figure out where that money is coming from because OSAP is ridiculous now. It's going to get much worse. Thank you. With OSAP, there's also a six month grace period that you guys get to repay your stuff. So when you're done school, you get six months to work before you have to start paying back your loan. Right now, when he makes the cut, once school ends, you have to pay it back right away. You don't get a grace period. No one needs a job right now. That's impossible. So your debt will be much higher and you probably won't be able to find a job right away. So you're just going to get interest on top of interest. Who here has siblings that are in elementary school? Yeah. Do you really want your siblings going through with larger class sizes, unable to get help from teachers, the help that they need in order to have a successful future in college or high school? No. If you care about your siblings, and if you care about your own future, and if you care about your children's future, we shouldn't have to stand for what we've been fighting for all this time, which is a right to education and the right to actually learn and have a successful job in the future. Make some noise! Woo! Um, what they're doing has already started taking effect. For example, the autism funding, after the age of six, they'll only get funding. That's barely enough for like two therapy sessions. Nice to have also, with the funding, so they only get one or two sessions, there's many kids, autism, it's a spectrum, it's a spectrum disorder. So some kids are at the bottom, some are at the top. Some autistic people can't speak, they can't dress themselves, feed themselves, and this therapy lets them be independent and even move to jobs. I used to live with an autistic child, he was low functioning. His therapy let him eat and get dressed and live on his own. And without that, he would not have been able to do any of that stuff or even tell his mom that he needs help or that he's hurt. It took him many sessions to be able to even say, mommy, I'm hurt. <laughs> so that we're real loud. When I say no cuts, y'all say education, okay? Ready? Yeah. No cuts! Education! 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 Woo! If you guys haven't signed the petitions, they're on the bench. You guys can form lines. If you have, maybe just back away from the bench so that other people can. The importance of the petition is it shows that you're all here supporting this cause and it shows the amount of people we got. So... <laughs> also, these petitions are going to be sent to our MPP and they will be used in the like House of Commons to help fight and go back against these. Across the province today, everyone's walking out and signing these petitions. So with your guys' numbers and everyone else, we might be able to get him able to listen to us. If you are signing the online petition, here's a bit of a problem. They don't necessarily have to acknowledge that petition at all. They don't. Because it's not an actual document and there's no actual legal signature. So that's why paper documents, like this petition, is more necessary for the House of Commons because they can acknowledge it because it's an actual document. That's why it's here and not we're not telling you to go to sign the electronic version. Is there any grade nines who want to speak about what yeah. they're making? Ashley, Come on, yes. Ashley. Ashley. Yeah. 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 I like it. Thank you. I think it's important to know that my I think it's important to know that my my education is not just a statistic to the government. Like it's just, I think that my funding should be. I'm, it's not just being handed to me, and I don't think that like education cuts is right to us as people. And as much as it's not going to take effect until a little bit later, it's going to affect us in the long run. So I think as a group collectively, we're doing an amazing job to support no cuts to education. And I just think that's what. You guys should know, you guys are being a part of a great thing. All right. Uh, we both think that it's very uh, uninformed decision making the OSAP smaller because a lot of kids won't have the chance to follow their dreams and make the world a better place. Some people need this and it's not necessary to take it away. 
Now you're in grade 9 and 10. Yes. What do you think about when you leave high school? What kind of future do you think you're going to be headed to without um, health care in college? I'm kind of worried that I won't be able to go on the path I want to. Which is? Which is probably um, mechanical engineering. I see. Yeah, it's an expensive university. I don't think I'll be able to afford that. Do you find it stressful thinking that you might end up going to college without any money to yeah, do it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, because then you, you have somewhere to live or like, you have like, a place. No, 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 don't do that. Like, no, 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 um, are kids your age concerned about what your parents might go to to try and send you to college? Like, there's strife that they might experience? Yeah, I'm worried that they might like, like sell like family heirlooms or like stuff that's like very important to them to try to put me in the college just for that. And does that feel stressful now? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. That was. Uh, I personally want my kids to go and have the exact same experiences that I have had, like art classes, drama classes. Those were essential to my growing up and my being. This is what has formed my spirit to say. I am very energetic about these things because I want all my kids, because I want six kids, it's a lot I know, but I love kids. I want them to have an experience that they'll never forget and have things that will motivate them to become activists and choose what they believe in and do what they think is right. Is it stressful for you to be in high school now and think that when you get to college, if you can even go to college, um, that the funds just won't be there for your generation? Absolutely. I am scared that I'm not going to be able to afford anything because they're so expensive and the jacking the price is so high. Um, I personally am not going to college, but that's a life choice for me. But for my kids, if they're going to go to college, I don't know if I have the money to support them for that. And I want to, and I always want to have that. Because it's, it's a necessary thing. It's like it's very important for the jobs. It's very um, essential for their learning skills. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. So, this is a message from students from Center Dufferin District High School in Shelburne, and they have a message. Say no to us! And we just hope that the Ford government hears their expression. <laughs>